Well, good morning, BC. How's everybody doing? Say, Ron Bogey here, or Rockin' Ronnie. I'm sporting my new uh, Jaguar shirt I got for Father's Day, thanks to the kids. Appreciate that. And uh, what we've got going on here today, as promised, the new Ted Nugent 200 gram from Analog Productions. We've got that is, and that's compared. I'm going to compare that to the uh, Ted Nugent first edition Japanese press. I've got a few of those uh, Led Zeppelin reissues compared to. I got the. This is the Classic Records 200 gram. Compared it to that, and I got Led Zeppelin three, and a few other things. You know, schematics for a blank state. Got a few things to talk about today. So anyway, first of all, now we've got the Ted Nugent Analog Productions, and boy, you know, they just do a fantastic job. It's a really nice thick cover, and it's a gatefold. Now it's not quite as nice as that T for the Tillerman one, but I think they tried to be really faithful to the original, and they really, they did a better job. They just do a better. This is better than the original, and every conceivable fashion because analog productions they try to make the best that they can they try to do it the state of the art try to make the best product that they can and when I compared it to the first edition Japanese I thought well you know what analog produ productions you know they missed the market a little bit on it I think I hear a little bit more music on the on the Japanese press but after listening to it a little bit more, I realized that the Japanese press is a little bit on the bright side. And because it's it's brighter, there's more stuff going on there in the high end, it kind of obscures some of the some of the detail. It kind of goes against the, what you would think, but that's what happens because now this record, it's not quite as bright. So you can hear a little deeper into, into the into the song, into the mix. There's a, a part on it, on Stranglehold, where he's hitting the hi-hat. You can hear the, him writing that cymbal. And it's absent from here because there's it's a little bit too too bright. And this has got a little bit better bass on it. All in all, it's a better recording. It sounds more master tape-like. So... Hats off to Analog Productions of Dan have done a wonderful job because these are really, really pricey. If you can get these for $75, you're doing good. You don't have to know. They've got that $30 Analog Productions brand new record, and you get it's better, it's gonna be better than it's gonna be state of the art, gonna be the best one out there. Okay, next we've got, as everybody's been kind of waiting to see what's gonna happen with these Led Zeppelin reissues. And, uh, you know, I was just going on Music Direct and reading what they had to say about it, how they were uh, direct from the uh, master tape. And I said, well, that's what I want. I mean, I want a record that comes from the master tape. I don't want a digital record, right? So I ordered uh, the one, one, two, and three. Well, two is back ordered. Nobody has them. Music Direct, Analog uh, Productions, or uh, Elusive Disc, and nobody, nobody's got the record in stock that I can find. So that's up in two. Now I did see one on eBay, and I might pick it up because the first one that I compared was I have Led Zeppelin three. Now I don't have a Classic Records edition of Led Zeppelin three. I have all the other ones, except for Into the Outdoor, which I course to which I sold on eBay but I have this edition of Led Zeppelin 3 which is a late 80s edition Canadian Record Club press and you can't really see it on the camera but it has a little rivet right in the middle for, for the wheel to spin around now the new reissue doesn't have that they've done a super job of the packaging on the new reissue from uh, and Pat made by, in Germany by Palace but this is a Canadian Record Club press, and now I have a few other of these uh, Canadian Record Club pressings from that, from the late 80s, early 90s, and I've compared them to some of the new MoFi reissues, and I find them better. I find these are better. So this is, this is a really well recorded record, and compared it to this, and I, what I did, I 
I bought the double record. I bought the two LP set. And it comes in this trifold. And what they've done is they have a, what's called a companion disc. And one of the, the beefs I have about this is they could have put a little book in it or something. Like all the Jimi Hendrix records that come with a little book. And they talk about... Because, you know, there's a little bit of information on here. It says companion disc, immigrant song, studio Olympic number two in London, May 29th, 1970. Engineer was Andy Johns, assistant engineer, Chris Kims. And so, Kimsey. And so, I'm saying, okay, well, how about the, the first record, the original one? Was, where was that done? It says side one, immigrant song, page plant, 226. Well, that's it. Couldn't they have given me a little bit more information? So I, okay, it's in, it was at uh, Olympic number one or two or whatever. Apparently, it was, they, don't, they don't care if we, it's not available, on, at least on this record. But uh, compared both the companion, because basically they've got the same songs. It's got immigrant song, uh, let's go up to the companion. Companion's got Immigrant Song, Friends, Celebration Day, Since I'm Loving You, you know, Gallows Pole, That's the Way, Jennings and Farm Blues. That's the same songs that's on here. There's a couple different ones, but for the most part, it's just, um, here's the shrink off of the record, and they've got a little thing on the back. It's got a little bit of information on it. And it says, Immigrant Song, Side 1, Original Album, LP2, Companion Audio, Side 1, Immigrant Song, Alternative Mix. So that's an alternative mix. And then you've got like, uh, Gallows Pole is a rough mix. Well, I'll tell you what, when I listened, when I compared Gallows Pole on the original versus the uh, the rough mix or the companion disc, I thought the, the companion disc was so much better. It's a more honest recording. It's not so overdubbed and overmixed and compressed and, and you know, they've added a lot of reverb to the, uh, to the original disc that they don't have on the uh, companion audio, that they don't have on the original tapes that they, or the first take or the second take that they did. And I find that the companion disc is so pretty much superior to that original disc. I really, really like the companion disc. It sounds much better. And when I went to compare Immigrant Song, you know, from the new reissue to the older reissue, I put the wrong disc on. I was comparing the companion disc to the, to the uh, reissue. And I, when I did it, I went, oh my goodness, this new reissue is so much better. So then when I went to get the other disc, I said, oh, okay, I put the wrong one on. And then I compared both. And of course, this one still sounded better than that later reissue. But the companion version sounds a lot, lot better. It's just a more uh, basic type recording. And it sounds a lot better because you don't have a bunch of, it's not overproduced. And I really, really like it. Like say, for instance, on... Uh, on Gallows Pole now, it sounds more like a, a unplugged version, you know. And I, I love all those unplugged versions of all the bands that do that stuff. And when we go to uh, Since I've Been Loving You, same type of thing, so much more clear. The voices, the guitar, all that stuff is so much more distinct and clear, and sounds so much better. So I really like this record, the, the reissue, uh, because of the companion disc. And like, when I go to play it now, I won't even bother playing to get the other record. I'll just play the companion disc because I really, really like that companion disc in there. But now when I went to compare, this was the second one I compared, but it's up in one. And of course, I have the classic records 200 gram reissue of that that I bought years back. And I compared it to this. And when I was doing so, you know, there's parts on it that have a little bit more detail. But I'm like, what in the world? Why is it sounding like a bad CD? That's why I don't like CDs. You know, some CDs sound, 
they don't have a pretty good quality to them and some have that harshness that shrill that high end is, is hurting my ears and I'm like why is my record sounding like a CD the bad part of CD so got out the computer and had a look and sure enough you know these big record companies they don't get it you know analog productions they understand what what we want because they're one of us they're record collectors they're record people these big record companies they're basically CD people they're not old record folks like you and me but they think they know what we want and so what did they do they went and they took the original master tape and then they digitized it and then they take then they took that and they made the lacquer from the digital from the from the digital so and why because it's easier and it's cheaper to do it's, analog productions is going to have to charge thirty dollars because of the way they make their process and what did I pay for this back in the day I paid thirty dollars for that classic records well what did I pay for this well they got it on my set for twenty two twenty two fifty or but I think the retail was twenty five dollars so you know they could have charged us twenty nine or thirty dollars for this record and maybe it would have approached this or been better better than the classic records but we'll never know because they, I don't know why they think it's better to make a twenty five dollar record that's not as good as a thirty dollar record it just blows my mind that they think they know what people what we want they don't have a clue what we want so anyway I don't like the sound on this record at all. Even if you've got a reissue or you've got a Japanese press or whatever, it's going to sound better than this. This doesn't sound good at all. Now maybe the, they have a trifold that comes out like this. or And it's a three record set, but it was $50. So I figured, well, you know what? I don't know what they're going to sound like. I'll just buy this single one first because it's $25. And if it's really, really good. And so, but I decided, you know, if I'm going to have these things, I want to get the the double records of these. I think these were $34. And then, of course, you know, I bought them around Father's Day, so it was on sale, 10% off. So I bought the double version. I'm sure, sure glad I bought the double of the other one because that companion is so good. So I might pick up the double version of Led Zeppelin II. And then I can compare that because I obviously I have the the classic records version of Led Zeppelin II, and I can do another comparison and find out how good that companion disc is, because if it's as good as this Led Zeppelin III here, wow, I'll be really, really happy. Um, right, just back to this now. Of course, this is from Digital Source too, but I didn't notice it like I did on Led Zeppelin I. And whether it's from digital or analog or whatever, I don't care, as long as it sounds great. And so this one sounds pretty good. But like I said, I didn't compare it to a uh, classic record because I don't have it. It's all about what do you compare it to, right? People are happy with what they have because they don't know any better. Now, schematics for a blank state. I picked up these two. And the reason I did, you know, everybody in the BC, most people anyway know that this is pretty dear, near and dear to the BC, these two records right here. And uh, Dr. Deadwax said he thought these were the best records of 2013. So I'm going, wow, that's got to be some great stuff right there, the best records of 2013. And so when he found out that I had bought these, he said, well, hang on a minute. I said they were the best records, that, they were my, he said, they were my favorite records of 2013 because it's got my name in the dead wax. And how cool is that? You know, Dr. Deadwax has got his name on the dead wax in these records. But I really like these records. This is the kind of stuff I like. This is good music right here. Both of these records. I think this one here may be a little bit better. But they're both really good. And they weren't that expensive. I bought them off eBay and they weren't that expensive. And I, found, I thought they were both really good records. Now, Al Stewart, You're the Cat. This is an older MoFi. And then, what I found on occasion, some of these Japan originals, I found them to have better sound than 
than some of these mofis that I've had. So I picked this up, and in this case, the mofi was better. The original on the RCA label from Japan. This Japan one is good, obviously, yes, but Old Mofi did a good job on this. It's, this is the best sounding version of this record you can get anywhere. This is the one to get. And then I picked up this Bob James. Now this is a pretty rare record here, Bob James. Even even in an in a original Canadian version like this, it's still a rare record. And if you can find a Japan first edition of this, like I thought that this was, because I've seen this a reissue we had a different OB and I could tell that it would and you know that this is an a earlier edition and I assumed because it was on the you know the, the brown CTI label and that that this was the first edition but I didn't look close enough because now I can see it's 2500 yen and being such a rare record the first edition is going to be basically next to impossible to find so I bought this thinking it was the first edition and and when I compared it this Canadian first edition sounds a lot better than the Japan second edition. You know, sometimes the Japan second edition will be better than our, but this is CTI, you know, and CTI really does a good job of their pressings. And then I bought this heart record because I had the original heart record, Dream Mode Annie. You know, this is the one with their hits on it, Magic Man and Crazy on You, and really good, their first one. And this one here now, this is manufactured and distributed, made in Canada at Mushroom Records in 1975 in Vancouver, BC. So this is your original Canadian press on Mushroom Records. And you've probably all seen the, the old Mushroom Records label, but you know, that's pretty cool. And uh, now I bought a, there was an, it's been reissued on 180 gram too here lately. And I bought that and compared it to the Canadian first edition. And that new 180 gram is not that good at all. This Dreamboat Annie first edition here was much better. So I thought, well, you know what? This half speed master, boy, that's really gonna be, it's gonna have to be better than the, just a regular run of the mill first edition Canadian press. But you know what? It's not. My first edition Canadian press, that's the that's the big daddy right here. That's the best version of this record you're ever going to find, that I can find anyway. I listen to a bunch. And then the last one here on the list is the Stones record I bought. And uh, if you're not familiar with this one, this is like one of their best hits records. It's got brown sugar, Tumbling Dice, Happy, Dance Little Sister, Wild Wild Horses, Angie, Bitch, It's Only Rock and Roll, you know, Rip This Joint. It's got a lot of those good old songs on it, so it's, that's a good record to have. So I picked that up and kept it. So that's going to conclude this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, and we learned something about the... Uh, the classic records reissues now, of course, this one is, is the best one still. And uh, thanks but no thanks, you know, to Atlantic for... Now, if you don't have a clean copy, even still, you're better off getting a, a reissue, some, something else besides this, because you can really hear the digital in this. There's a lot of detail in it, especially if you've got a bright stereo to start with. Yeah, you won't even be able to play that thing, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, BC. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you found it informative and hope I was able to help you out. Rock and Ronnie out.